So about 33 years into the, to the marriage, my wife made some visits to, to the doctor because of pain in her abdomen area, and it was discovered there was a uh, grapefruit-sized tumor in there. When this type of cancer returns, statistically speaking, it's considered terminal. Uh, we've been in past small groups, and when all of this came down with our communication uh, as it is today, the word spread. The several groups that we've been involved with um, throughout my cancer journey have been very supportive. People were there for us. People were emailing us. People were calling us. They're, they're there. What can they do? How can they help? But the fact that somebody's there and they're just sitting, they're just listening, they're hearing you, their presence is gigantic. I think we had dinners for over a month and it was great. And all that was just really wonderful. I just can't imagine going through something like this without a supportive group like that. And I, th I think Jim's been able to share with his group um, things that he wouldn't necessarily share with just everybody. And, and they've just really rallied around him. I think it's been great. In today's world, you're often operating as, as almost an island and letting somebody know where you're at and where you're going is critical to your survival. So we're pretty open about uh, sharing when we have struggles. The questions do come as to why, but I think we have more stated why not. I remember a friend talking to me. He was one of my guys in a, in a group. He said, Jim, I remember you saying, life's good, kids are good, marriage is good, finances are good, everything's good. But you knew the time would come, and here we are. It was about six months after Jim broke the news about Karen and, and her recent uh, reoccurrence with the cancer. I found out that I was diagnosed with cancer. Uh, it, it truly did bring a whole new perspective on life. When I talk to other people that are going through tough stuff, difficulties, I really do have a feel and a compassion for what they're going through. It's much easier to go through something like this when you know someone else has experienced it, and not only them, but I had the, the concerns of my small group. Where this person was put there at just the right time. Uh, they're just wonderful examples, of, regardless of their circumstances. That's a wonderful testimony of strength that helps me through my situations. Biggest fear as I go through all of this, uh, very honestly, is when you've got a great best friend relationship of 38 and a half years where you're doing everything together, you enjoy the same things, and you hang out together, is the fear of loneliness. I'm concerned about that. Yet, when I talk to the guys that are in my group, they remind me, and I know this is true, that God's gonna be there. He is going to be there. And one of the things that hit me huge, when I was really seeking after God and trying to, to listen to Him, was this thought that came to my mind. Um, it was incredible. Um, this thought that came, Jim, I will never leave you or forsake you.